Good day, Leo. I'm G, y'all. Let's play cards. A lot of hostilities around you. You and a feminine. You concerning a feminine. Uh, and time, 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 time. And if I didn't say hostilities, now we got anxiety. There is worry, distress. There's a storm. There's motherfucking chaos about taking some sort of action here. Uh, towards a man, possibly, or a man taking action. Cornucopia, towards wish fulfillment. Somebody is definitely being held back from moving forward. There's a lot of this energy going on. People are just, like, got, got a grip on people. And maybe people just need to get a motherfucking grip. You know, uh, ancient knowledge. What is this? There's a flame inside your heart, a light that stems from the dawn of time. Ancient love and ancient knowledge are being rekindled. Close your eyes and connect and feel. Woo! The loving wisdom you hold, let it flow out and from your heart and transform your life. People are stuck. They are not being allowed to um, feel their feelings. Look at, I knew I was going to see that at the bottom of the deck. Unrequited love. So, accept the pain, fulfill your needs in other ways. Crossing the barrier, somebody needs to make the trek to move it on. Just do the thing. Somebody's in fear, though. To engage. Alright. Maybe afraid of being chastised or put out, or what will the people say? Or something like somebody's disappointment. The greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it's too low and we reach it. The high priestess have already seen it. Um, so, you know, ancient knowledge and the high priestess is kind of the same thing. There's, you know, our ancestors, the, the knowledge, the things just, they, they end up in our brain. We don't necessarily have to read it. It gets passed down from generation to generation. It looks like people are looking for healing help everywhere that they can possibly get it. Uh, the hostilities, uh, Michelangelo names, initials may or may not be relevant. The chariot, move forward from the hostilities, the eight of cups. Somebody could be worried about how, like, a feminine is going to receive them. Somebody, like, really needs, like, a big motherfucking hug here. Uh, and there is the phoenix yet again. So, the forward movement, traveling. Uh, somebody is astro traveling here. Uh, they're, they're fighting, doing it physically. They're, they've already done it, like, in, in the other realm or something. Or you have King of Swords, Ace of Cups. Presented the love that is missing, that is um, somebody regrets some stuff. Maybe there's some sort of apology. Six of Cups. So the past life soulmates, the sun here. Somebody's come to some self-realization, some knowledge here that there's a problem and a blockage with the world. And that they are right smack, you're right smack in the middle of it. What is that? Three of Cups. So, King of Swords is Libra. It just turned into Libra season, so we're probably going to start seeing a lot of those cards. Uh, you know, same thing happened. Leo keeps coming out, though, a lot. I will have to say, like, it has not slowed down, really, since Leo season. So, uh, whatever happened on that 8-8 portal, 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 whatever, shit has changed. So, possibly somebody can't stop thinking about these things here. They're at a crossroads. There's been a stalemate. Somebody wants to take off their rose-colored glasses, talk about the things, let 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 it out there. There you are. I didn't even look at that shit, right? <clears throat> five of Swords. Just get it all out there, Two of Cups. And that would be the Five of Cups. The, the sadness, the sorrow, the remorse here. It could be, definitely be someone's birthday. There could be a party coming up, some sort of celebration where you're going to come up. With someone, to someone, you're going to need some sort of strength. Everything is about honesty is the best policy around here. Somebody operates just that way. I don't know. Somebody is stuck in fear or the strength card wouldn't be out here. The king and the queen of swords. So let's see. Oh, I thought something flipped, but it didn't. So this is the second chakra, feminine energy. The queen of swords. What is she talking about? She knows some shits. Ooh, so doesn't the queen of pentacles. That's a motherfucking face off. Lovers. Ooh, and the two of pentacles. It literally is like a face-off. Like, these, which one of these things does not belong? 
and uh, somebody is trying to take the place of like someone else, quite possibly. The Page of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Like I've done some soul. I, I don't know. Somebody's done a lot, a lot of looking and a lot of watching and uh, -uh looking at this Empress and the family legacy and the future. The Three of Swords. Sick of being. Somebody's sick and tired of being sick and tired of the pain. It's like a face-off here with these women. Somebody is so jealous of someone else. Seven of Wands, of somebody else's rebirth or somebody else's second chance. There's a reconciliation. Uh, somebody has persevered here. Regardless, they just keep moving forward. Eight of Cups saying, look, at you can, you're, maybe you're the one that's moving forward or you need to catch up. But whomever it is has the ability to catch up if they can release themselves from the Eight of Swords and mature enough or make the plan enough and mm -mm -mm. there's a bunch of people out here though just saying they are trying to get in the way of time or time has been in the way or too much time has gone by seeing through facades wise and aware insights about what's going on around you here or who the people are there needs to be some problem solving someone's trying to solve a problem 16 17 i don't know that Something short-lived. It's got to come to an end here. Uh, ask questions. Somebody got a lot of motherfucking questions, okay? Secrets are being lifted. Unexpected rendezvous. Challenging the status quo. Having to do with the home and rivals and toxic shit and boundaries. Someone's tired of the motherfucking boundaries and the things that are going on here. Look at somebody's going to unchain themselves. They got the fucking key. The hermit found the key. Something's up with this Virgo as well. Uh, this Virgo has something to do with something. Yeah, this messenger in green light, steady forward movement towards this reconciliation, towards a rebirth, towards a, towards a new, it looks like a new motherfucking life. Yeah, twin flames, 11-11. Um, and what else? The diamond ring is uh, next level. It's a statement of intent, but also it's an agreement and a promise. It's a, a next, it's, just, it's a huge change is what it is. Like I'm saying, there's like this huge shift with the power struggling and the things here. So what? A change in direction. Not to worry about the things in the past. Taking a leap of faith towards the things that are going to make you happy and fulfill you and not the other people around you. Save the world. Who cares about the people everywhere if you're not happy? If you are not happy, it's your life, people. Uh, this is joint effort. Getting the people to work together. Wanting to work together. An epic battle through the battle. Through, through the war that's coming. Just saying... Um, and there's a lot of, um, it's a, it's a game. It's a chess game. Everything's about a game. A homing pigeon. Can I come home? Will you come home? There's been a lot of savage stuff. Somebody has treated somebody extremely terribly here. Uh, maybe treated a man terribly or the man is stuck in the middle of the terrible treatment. There's been a lot of criminal stuff here. Someone's being treated like a criminal, but there's something's about to blow up in somebody's face. Exactly. The confusing direction and trying to stop someone isn't going to stop them from getting there. Eventually, the battle will be won and someone will fall. Mm -hmm. Somebody went and done it's domestic abuse with the soulmates. Uh, it also looks like uh, I just saw the Banshee Immortal. Somebody's gone done messed with the wrong people, the wrong angels, the wrong, the wrong group. So family squabbles, all the karma stuff with the family. There is some sort of killing corpse death energy out here. Again, I saw the Banshee. So somebody could be sick, be getting sick, or death is near for someone, or death has changed a lot of things. This is an overpowering energy. I do definitely feel like somebody is having some, some health issues. Anywho, uh, until next time, toodaloo.